Okay guys, so really quick video for you guys today. We are at Mateo's house. <laughs> We're not digging yet, but he has shown concern that his house could be possibly haunted. So sometimes when I'm cleaning or just walking around the house. Sorry, I have stomach problems. I mean, what the f is this? So these are my candles. You're crazy. I don't believe in that. Ah! She would see the eyes watching her move in the room. <laughs> You, someone that used to live here. The camera's blurry. It's temperature. Okay. So. Basically, sometimes when I'm walking around the house or I'm cleaning or just doing whatever, I'll feel like someone grab my arm or my back, especially my back. One time, actually, I felt like a pat on the butt. Woo! <laughs> Mateo's so cute, he got ghosts over, all over him. It's because Mateo has a big old booty. Like before, because before when like we first got this place, it was just me and one of my friends that would, you know, sometimes come here and stay over. For like what a the few fuck? Weeks that scared me. There have been times where before uh, my family came to live here, those are just fireworks. Those are not uh, gunshots. gunshots or anything. We're in the um, ghetto. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So before when it was just me and <coughs> my friend, we would hear things outside, down the hall, um, in the kitchen. To this day, only when I'm alone, only when it's just me in the house. I'll hear like scratches on the wall, specifically this wall right oh, here. Fuck. <laughs> You're lying. Yeah. But it's it's very faint. Like you can like barely hear it, you know. And then you'll hear footsteps. She's chewing in my ear. <laughs> why you why you say that to me? <laughs> <laughs> you'll hear footsteps going up and down the hallway. Sometimes you'll hear footsteps going up and down the stairs. And I would always think it was my neighbors because I have neighbors that live upstairs. But no, it wasn't them because they're either not at home or they're already home and they're they're inside their house like asleep. And it always happens at night. And we have cameras, like that point in the front of the house, the side of the house in the back. And that you never see anyone walk up the stairs, but you hear the footsteps. The ones right here? Yeah. I would hear like voices like whispering in my ears whenever I would try to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was like using a lot of the, what is it called? Melatonin? Those gummies to help me go them. to sleep. And it was popping them as pills. Yeah, because it was just so, it was like, it was scary, you know, and happening like every night, like no way. And finally when my family came, um, and this was after like three years of living here by myself, um, when my f family finally came, uh, they did like a limpieza and plus my- Oh, you lived here by yourself? Mm hmm What? Oh yeah, sorry Tommy stinks. I should have given him <laughs> yeah. a shower. Yeah, use. Tommy smells like trash. Like you could just tell when my family isn't here and it's just me and hopefully, you know, you guys will be able to experience something. You can like feel it. You feel the energy, you know, you 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 hear things. You just you feel it, you know, Are and you on also your phone? Also, it gets cold wherever you are and the rest of the house is warm or hot But like where you're sitting like I'll be on the like playing my games in the, that chair and it's hot in the house But then out of nowhere, I just feel this like cold cold air surrounding me I'm like damn it's cold, you know, and my mom is like, what are you talking about? I'm sweating and I'll literally stand up get up and go to like different parts of the house and it's hot. It's literally just wherever I am. Like it so follows. Like, it follows you. Yeah. And I don't know why. And I don't think that the ghost cat that I see is bad. I think it's good, you know, because it never does anything. Can it be like spirit animals? Maybe. Is that what people say? Yeah. And you know, a lot of cats like always come up to me, you know, cats have always been like very trustworthy of me, I guess, and could be possibly. You know. Have you heard of the cat distribution system? No. Well, they say that you don't pick the cats, the cats choose you. Really? Mm -hmm. So I guess none of the cats want me because I was waiting for one of them. Because you stink. Okay, so we are going to try and investigate and see if and try to confirm his suspicions. Yes. 
I only really? came to hang out. I'm not ready. This is like a prequel or like a prelude to the yes. backyard digging. Why am I trying to put on Lizzie? <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm staying here in the middle. Who's that ding? I don't know. You heard that? Yeah. Might have been my phone. Yeah. yeah. No, not my phone. Not my phone. Was it your phone? No. That's a, it sounded like a ding, like on a bell. Hmm. Not my phone. That's weird. I didn't hear that. See, I told you. See, and I, I know that dings mostly mean something positive. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay, that's good. These are the pots that I was talking about. And she actually replaced a lot of them. Like, they're a lot newer. But the one that's cracked, it's this one. And she showed me inside, there, there's a rock. And underneath that rock, there's like another type of rock. And it looks like a crystal, but it doesn't at the same time. <laughs> oh my god, what Did was you hear that? that? I don't know. <laughs> that wasn't me. My shorty bay farts. And she was like, what was that? Oh my god. That was not even shoddy, you dummy. Oh, yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> okay, so. This is the stuff. Oh, that's the stuff that you found? Yeah, let me, let me flip it over. <laughs> it was, it's a dog. Yeah, it's just a dog. That just that that is so scary. I almost ran. You know what it what it looks like when it, when you send the picture. It looks like a, a, a horse. gun handle. And I think this is a coin. I don't know that thing. Here's another coin. That's a coin. There there was oh here's like a piece of glass right there. There's another piece of glass. Please don't run if something scary happens to me there because I'm gonna pee myself. Yeah. Oh my god! You guys have to see these onions. Oh yeah, look at my they're f onions. Are onions. Yeah, you want one, Lupita? Yeah. <laughs> you can get rid of this. Oh yeah, that's Toby. Toby. That's my rabbit. I don't want to put it in its face, but. No, it's okay. No what? Um. So. Okay, guys. Oh. Okay, guys. I'm doing like a little. Just okay. Whatever. I just need to explain. Look in front of Toby. In front of his face. Not in front of his face exactly, but. Uh, I'll put an arrow to where you should look. But there's something f black, like a black ball of something that, like, flies across the grass. Oh, that's okay. No, what? Um, so... No, that's okay. No, what? Um, so like from here up... Toby! You can just like... Throw it away? Yeah, you can throw it away. Alright, yeah. okay, this? Yeah. What the hell is this doing here? Mm -hmm. That's oh. his car, you didn't know that? <laughs> so he gets around. <laughs> Girl, bye. Can I go in the middle? <laughs> Luisa, relax. You're like, we're, okay. we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Okay, but I want to go in the middle. I don't like being in the back. Well, I don't like being in the back either, so. Well, you're the, you make me, what the f*** is this? So these are my candles. You're crazy. Um, I used to use them for, you know, cleansings, um, protection. They're really bad. They're so dark. Well. Does your mom say anything about that? Yeah, she's always like, ¿Por qué tienes esto? Da, 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 da. But, you know. To each his own. This one, it's like very young. It's not as old as this one. This one's actually really, really old. Um, a lot of people use them for different things for different reasons. Um, me, I've never used them for anything malicious or negative. I've always just done it to, you know, surround myself with protection because before I would always feel like, you know, I was just being like attacked by people, you know, like mm -hmm. I would feel the negative energy. And just, you know, some of my exes are crazy. Oh, yeah. So I definitely. That's actually why I have some things that I know that they don't like. Lupita! Lupita, I swear I saw a cloud of green smoke behind you. I think <laughs> it was not me. It doesn't smell. Like one of my exes hates um, and um you plus you know you put some oils in and there. And like how dark it is. Plants. That means like that's negative vibes. Well, well uh, it, it's probably dust and stuff, no like dirt. Yeah, cuz these are really old and honestly I have not been keeping up with the practice in a long time. Like I've I actually put these away. I brought these out just for you guys. I I actually I haven't you know, dabbled in the mysteries of magic in a long time like Stop. years. You're years getting scared. It's years. not scary. Oh, you know what? is haunted 
What? And my mom was like, get it out of the house. Get it out of the house. Just so you know, Mateo, this is not gonna help the cult rumors. Oh, what is that? Don't, stay there. <laughs> stay there. Well, let me put it right here so that she can get a better look. You still wanna be in the middle? I'll just what stay here. What the heck? So What's going on with that? My aunt gave it to us and it's supposed to be a jewelry box. Like, obviously, you know, she's molding or whatever. They got a spider in there. But she would use this for her jewelry. And this is from, like, some famous artist, whoever that is, Retro Vogue. Search her up. And um, my, this was in my mom's room. And she said every night she would have dreams about these angels and these animals on here, like, attacking her or, or talking to her. And she said when she would wake up, she would see the eyes watching her move in the room. Mm -mm. So she was like, get this out of my house now. And she, she says that like each one of these beads and all like the gold things like means something and the symbolism on here too. And at first I was like, mom, like you're tripping, you know, like this is just like furniture or whatever in someone's art. And I actually had it like at the foot of my bed because I was like, I kind of like this, you know? But no, I saw the eyes look at me too. And I would like, I would like feel super, super weird. So I was like, nope, she's gotta go. And the only reason why I haven't like thrown it away is because I've heard like if you come into contact with something that has like maybe a spirit or some negative energy or whatever it is attached to it, the worst thing to do is throw it away. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to like properly dispose of it. Like you can take it to Sabres maybe? I don't know. When you guys come to do like the Can we video, get out of here? Yeah, we can go over there. I'll open the gate for you. And you know how I know that there's some other sh like things too? Is all my animals will like look in a certain direction. Come on. Come you know? <laughs> okay, you can go back there. Nice ride. <laughs> yeah. Nice ride. <laughs> See, that's what Nelly was talking about. That I'd be talking like I'm in a movie when I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't split oh, it. Bad luck, bad luck. I don't believe in that. Ah! What? what the fuck? What? What? Ew. <laughs> Why did I have that on me? Oh, you had a slug on you. Can you check my hair? <laughs> I'm gonna be myself. Oh, I don't want to be here no more. I'm gonna go shower. You're okay. You're okay. Oh look, they're all out. Oh wow. All four of them. You can see the black one too. We pet them? No. You want to feed them? Yeah. Is this bamboo? Wow. Dude, it's, this is all bamboo. Wow. And if I don't cut these, it'll literally turn into this. But this is my avocado tree, my baby avocado tree. Can I red, a red, um... Yeah, I know, I still need strength. to do that. Here's another one of the green onions. Like, this is the size it was when I first planted them. Like oh, a wow. regular green onion size. But because So, I can keep talk, using this? Yeah, you have to talk to your plants. Oh. They grow, and I play music for them, yeah. Can I sing for them? Yeah, they love, they love when you sing to them. Bidi bidi bamba. <laughs> Wait, what are, you, what are you talking about a red string? Oh yeah, so basically where I live, my uncle, he has like red, red strings around the trees and like her, his plants. And I, and I saw one of my uncles do it too, and my mom, and I asked why they do that, and they said, it's para darle, uh, you know how mal de ojo? Mm -hmm. Because people le dan mal de ojo a los oh. cosas and se mueren las plantas. My so. grandma was just telling me a story about this. Mm. This shit is bright. I'm sorry. I had this in your guys' faces. That she had some orchids and uh, she's had she'd had them for like a while, I guess. And that some, I don't know if it's her cousins or her tias or who, but they went to visit her. Like this was in Mexico. The next day they were all like dead. Wait, what? The Her plants were dead. Oh, yeah, because um, they're... They they're ojo. Yeah, and negative vibes. They probably are negative people. I don't think you can see oh. anything. Don't mess with my ice cream. But, it's um, an onion. Mm. Please don't fart. My, my face is right in your butt. Was that real? Oh. Guys, Mateo has so much random shit. Random shit. <laughs> I have this bag. <laughs> what is that? Okay. This is my cauldron, guys. Hey, do I have my incense dragon. He's green, but I still call him Smaug. 
Is that a fucking wand? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I really think we should, like, win. Vuelta, vuelta. I want to hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. I need to give him a little beer. Libra balancing of the scales. So when it goes to the left, that means you're, like, really gay or, like... <laughs> yeah. A lot of people would think if it goes to the left, you're really gay, but no. If it goes to the right, you're really gay. Ah. That's why you always walk into the right. <laughs> Get the fuck off of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so you guys know what time it is. It's time for the fing <laughs> rampod. Lupita left because she's a pussy. Yes. Here's you hear that, Lupita? Rampod. Why did you leave? This is why Momo is my wife. Oh my god. Let's start. Oh fuck! Let me turn on the night vision. Are you scared, Mateo? <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay, okay. I'm good. I'm good. Cause I don't live here. I don't gotta deal with this. <laughs> I have felt multiple presences here. Can you at least like tell us what you are or who you are and why you are targeting me specifically? Also, if you uh, would like to communicate. You can either, you know, touch or go nearby the REM pod that's on the floor, that round canister that has the red light on it and the metal antenna sticking out. Um, what's that beeping? I mean, the light that was flickering. Is that normal? Maybe temperature. Well, thank you for communicating. <laughs> they all scared. I'm just shocked. I didn't think it would. Are you someone that used to live here? The camera's blurry. It's temperature. Okay. So, I know this house is very old. Honestly. I feel like a tingling sensation around my right ankle right now. I'm too scared to say anything. I think you're doing a great job. <laughs> um, I just heard like a footstep over there. Are you... Did you hear that whisper? No. It sounded like, oh yeah. Okay. It sounds like over there though. Mm -hmm. It's blurry too. It's really blurry. Are you here because of one of the people who used to live here, who used to practice magic? And wood. Okay. Can you tell us if you are her indeed or if you are something that she conjured or trapped here? You hear that over there? Mm-hmm. Not the not the voice outside, but the thing like the tapping over there. There's like footsteps and stuff. This is why I think there are multiple beings here because i've heard multiple voices and whispers are you trying to warn me or are you trying to oppress me 
is it possible that you are somehow connected to Jesse or his family that used to live here? My next door neighbor that lives over there. Well, actually, it answered my question when I asked if you were, you know, somehow related to or if you are the witch who used to live here and practice magic. Mm -hmm. As a fellow, you know, believer, I think my brother's about to come in. Yeah. Um, my brother's about to walk in, so don't be afraid. He's just gonna go to his room and introduce himself because I think I hear him outside. But the noise that me and Monica were hearing was coming from like the dining room and kitchen area. Mm -hmm. So this is how the Grand pot is triggered. Just thinking about something walking past it. That's how close you have to be. Other thing is the temperature. Put my nail on it. That's how sensitive the temperature is. I just put my nail on it. I always feel like somebody's watching me. <laughs> <Thank God. laughs> That's my brother Joshua. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Was that, that was, me? No, because you have to be super wait. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah. So it just went off. Like, put your foot on it. Like, near it. Like, you gotta be close. Yeah, you have to be really just close. just triggered when my tail was right there. Yeah, I was like right here. He was far. Yeah, I was like right here. And you gotta be close. You to be like close. I wish. Oh, God damn it. One more time. Hmm? One more time. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Coming over. This is Breaker Breaker 19502. Okay, it's so. It's just blurry as hell. I wonder why. It's weird. Um. Well, um, you can sit across from me. Um, if you aren't already, uh, you can you can keep communicating to us like you have been through this device that is on the floor in front of me. And thank you so much for being so receptive and you know communicating with us. You know if you need help uh, or if you're trying to warn us or say anything, you know say it now so that we can hear it later. And then. Like, if you want us to, like, just for example, one of the items that I found, or if there's something that's under the house or in the walls or something, you know, let us know so that we can free you and properly take care of you, you know. Just please let us know. And if you are a negative entity or a malicious entity, you know, we do not give you power and we do not allow you to latch yourself or selves onto any of us. So what does it mean when the small red light blinks? I think the temperature is changing. Mm. If you want to walk by, it's going to beep. You can make all the colors go off. It'll be a clear sign you're communicating with us. You wanna get close to it like Mateo's about to do? It's gonna make a bunch of lights go off. It's not gonna harm you in any way. If you wanna walk by or touch the antenna, you're welcome to. If you like everyone that's living here, um, Will you make the device turn on? This is interesting. Oh, thank you. Are you someone I know or someone I knew? Are you a 
a family member that's passed on. Cause like my mom, when she was taking care of the old guy, my grandma, she was really, really sick. And my mom was asleep in her bed and there was this window that was right next to her bed and she woke up and she like immediately woke up from like a really long sleep and she just like she felt something inside of her and she like looked out the window and there was this bird like a finch it was looking at my mom and it was chirping and it would like it stayed there it wouldn't move even though my mom got up and my mom was like you know what my mom just died and she called my tia who because at that time, my grandma would go between the different Thea's houses mm. and my house too. And we would take care of her for like three months. And she called her and she was like, yeah, Mama Lena just passed away. Damn. And like my mom knew. And when she hung up with my Thea, the bird was still there. And the bird like sang to her and it flew away. Wow. And to this day, my mom like gets visited by a finch. It's always just one finch. Really? Yeah. Looks like an orb just passed by. Are you here because of one of the items that I have brought with me? And if so, do you want me to like properly send you off? in whichever manner you'd like, whether that be in the ocean or to put you back where I found you. I'm feeling kind of cold right here. Like just very cold right here. Can you tell us if it is an item? Which item? Can you name it specifically? Maybe it's over there. Yeah, that's where I think the red ball is. Oh my god, that one I burped. <laughs> you go in the woods like this or what? Mm -hmm. And I would leave. <laughs> I, I just. Oh, this is I didn't want to have that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Anytime I would do anything with the candles, I would wear this. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, that's why I'm telling you. We like, were so right favorite. about the cult. I told you. Cult confirmed. I told you. Where can people send applications? Well. A secret it you have to be, be chosen yeah, there was applications <laughs> you, you you have to be chosen so oh dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> i'm ready for my exam first item is this one this is a doorknob that i found in a tree stump i've made a lot of people say that my style is very unique uh creative and different and the second one i did on my own is that blood yeah i am patrick bateman